As an artist, I know the more time I spend on my craft, the better I'm gonna be at it. So I want a place that helps me create for long periods of time. My room was dull and uninspiring. I would edit for an hour and then be itching to just get out and get some fresh air. I realized this and decided my space needed to change. I searched the internet for how to create a creative room and I only found desk setups and dream office videos with people showing off their cool designs, but there was no explanation for why they chose what they did. So I thought, I need an interior designer who specializes in this sort of thing. I asked around and my sister had a friend who does exactly that, so I reached out to Vanessa and she loved the idea. Hi everyone, my name is Vanessa Duran Lozano. I am an interior designer here in Arizona. I have my bachelor's degree in interior design and I also work here locally. Milagro Zingoni is a professor at the design school at Arizona State University. So I asked for her top tips to designing a creative workplace. And Vanessa took those tips and created a personal space for me based on the dimensions of my room. So here are Zingoni's creative space tips. Declutter the space. First thing you wanna do is declutter everything in your workspace. When you declutter, it's gonna help you be more effective and productive. Remember that clear space equals clear mind. Color theory. An easy thing you can do to freshen up your space is painting. Painting can always make an old space feel brand new. I would recommend trying to stay neutral, but you can incorporate color as long as you're smart with your color, you do your research on color theory, and incorporate in little splashes and pops. For example, blue is a cool color and what it does is it relaxes your mind and your body so therefore it can decrease your productivity. That's why you see blues and greens and spas. Ergonomics. You want to choose furniture that not only looks cool but keeps you awake and is good for ergonomics and your body support. You can also add various seating options in your workspace. For example, you can add a beanbag or if space permits, you could add a sectional. This way, when you're working throughout the day, you can have a space where you can relax for a little bit, take a little restorative break, and then get back to work. Natural light. Lighting is crucial in your space. If you can, I would really recommend putting your desk or your workspace by a window and allowing natural light to come in. There's tons of research on how light can increase or decrease productivity, so be wise about your lighting. When it comes to artificial lighting, I would suggest using cool lighting because cool lighting mostly resembles natural lighting and also using a task light for your desk and your main focus area. Opportunity to do effortless restoration. Incorporating nature into your workspace can be extremely beneficial. You can incorporate nature into your workspace in subtle ways like bringing in little plants, whether they're real or not. You can try to incorporate nature in your artwork. And of course, like I said, putting your workspace by a window where you have a view out into nature. And if you have a beautiful view, why not take advantage of it? Ventilate every day. The last thing that we sometimes forget about is air ventilation. If you can, I would suggest investing in a fan, whether it's in a ceiling fan or a portable fan. And of course, if you can and you have a window or a door by your space, I would suggest leaving it open for a while and letting in some outside air come in. I wanted to maximize the potential of the room and minimize the cost. But at the same time, a place that I love to work at and pushes me to be more creative is honestly priceless to me. So the office is more of an asset than a liability. It's gonna push me to create more. In that case, I'm gonna get more work. You're gonna be blown away at how little this costs me. The big investments are usually the furniture and the desk, but actually I got the couch for free from a friend. It's a $600 Ikea couch. They were moving and they didn't need it, so I got it for $0. I usually buy everything used. A lot of people buy brand new stuff, especially a lot of rich people. So look in really expensive neighborhoods and search Craigslist in that area and you're gonna find a lot of free stuff or really cheap discounted furniture. One of the only things I bought brand new was the desk. I found one on the internet that I really liked that fit the space perfectly, so instead of waiting and looking on offer up, I decided to just go ahead and buy it. I got the desk for around 240 bucks on Amazon. All these links will be in the description if you're interested in looking at similar items or purchasing the exact same item. I got a brand new unused rug for 160 bucks that usually goes for 250 bucks on OfferUp. I got the art piece used from OfferUp for 60 bucks. Brand new, it was $200. And I also got the coffee table for free. I got the chair and the bookshelf free from a friend who was also moving. I spent $50 on plants from Lowe's, $20 on a humidifier, and $30 on a task light from Amazon. And painting the room can run you anywhere from 
50 to 100 dollars for paint my total for this whole room was about 560 i suggest you spend a few weeks creating your space because then you can check craigslist and offer up and there's going to be a lot of different variety of things that you can choose from if you take your time and build the space slowly. Here's some little tips from award-winning architect Donald Rotner, who created a complete guide to optimizing your office for creative work. Lots of studies show that 70 decibels of sound is a great way to inspire creativity. This is roughly the same as a busy restaurant, a coffee shop, or the loudness of a running shower, which is possibly why people get creative in the shower. So you can use your phone to create an ambient atmosphere and use soundscapes from busy restaurants, coffee shop, or nature. People are more creative in a dim atmosphere than a typical office or highly illuminated setting. So when you're working at night, use a dim lit task light to help you with your creative solutions. There's also something called construal level theory, CLT. According to CLT, the observation or perception of things far away from us stimulates abstract thinking and nearby objects or concepts on the other hand stimulate a concrete and detail-oriented mindset. So being outside on a mountain helps you with big picture ideas while being in a cave or something smaller helps you with more detail-oriented tasks. You can open up your creative space by using a window or by using images of open spaces such as mountains and oceans. And a number of studies indicate that visual representations of eye-catching scenery can elicit the same psychological response as seeing the real thing. So a picture of a mountain can do almost the same thing as a real mountain. It's also been found that higher ceilings allow for greater creativity than shorter ceilings. So if you have the choice, choose a room that is well lit with natural light and that has higher ceilings. We all want our workspaces to be inspiring, to welcome us. If you're a chef, you wanna make sure that your kitchen is nice and that you enjoy being there because that's gonna be the place that you spend the most time in. If you spend more time in the place where you're creative, you're gonna create more. The more you create, the better you're gonna be at your art and the more mastery you're gonna get. So really think about, I spent so much time working in a place that I didn't like to work in. Whereas I can invest a little bit and get a place that I love to create in and now I just wanna be in here all the time. I always wanna be creating something. So really think about the space and what it does for you and your art. If you guys are interested in designing your own home office or your space, reach out to an interior designer or Vanessa. I'm sure a lot of them will take you on and you can spend a little bit of money and have a space perfectly designed for you. Vanessa sent me an entire layout, but even with that, I still had so many little questions that popped up that I would just text her and she instantly had an answer for me. So it was really awesome working with her. Thank you to Vanessa and Milagros for taking the time to educate me on creative interior design. Special thanks to Vanessa for creating my layout and helping me with the design from start to finish. Thank you to my family for helping me with all the handiwork and the metti breaks. And thank you for watching my video. Share it with your friends and let them know they could be creating art in a way more optimal setting.